I was wondering what you ended up buying. No, oh, I was cleaning up. No, I was just wondering what did you end up, um, what did you end up buying? What? I said, what did you end up buying them? Oh, heck, I don't even remember. Um, I got those, um, uh, I got those Storybooks that I was telling you about. Mm-hmm. And the, um. The Weird Kids School. Huh? The Weird Kids School. Well, you didn't. What? I said the Weird Kids School. Yeah, the chapter books, or you didn't get them? Oh, yeah, I got those storybooks. Oh. And uh, I've got a couple other things. I can't remember off the top of my head. They're in, uh, they're in Jabari's car. Oh. All right. They ought to be excited. Say what? I said they ought to be excited. New school support. New school stuff. Good afternoon. It is Monday, July 3rd. And um, back to share this summer haul. So, as you all saw, I got a call on Friday just to kind of confirm um, some things. All right, the last haul I shared, I think, was in April, and um, it had the highlights books, which I just showed you all recently. And yeah, some junk in here, but for video purposes. <laughs> if you all remember these books. So, um, once a quarter, they come to the husband's job and he um, makes a purchase. I think in December, um, yeah, here's part of what was in there. These Ibu um, learn to spell, learn to count puzzles. So they have some amazing products. It's a mobile book company. You can host parties and all kinds of things like that but it comes around to the job and um he'll uh you know just pick up whatever and the kids have fun with it so this time seemed like it came quick <laughs> but um and it's actually what they call their spring quarter so they'll be back in a couple months but yeah so let me get on with this this haul um so yeah I didn't he kind of told me some things and I said yay or nay but because they were all new things besides the highlight puzzle books they were the same ones and that's what he was making sure that they were not um, he was not going to buy the exact same ones again so other than that I, I completely trust his judgment on things he's real good about picking out stuff for the kids he knows what they like so let me get to this all right uh, we have my weird school okay so summer reading just became more fun all right so if you all are not familiar this is a chapter book series and it's fairly simple there are pictures in here and so it's it's not a lot of um, it's a lot of pictures, you know, not a lot, a whole lot of words. The words are big enough for them to not feel overwhelmed. But the thing about it is the uh, titles of the books. Very, uh, very catchy. Just back. So, Miss Daisy is a second grade teacher. She doesn't know how to add or subtract. So, really kooky uh, type series. By Jim Palliot. Or pictures by Jim Pallion by Dan Goodman. Okay. 
What are you doing? Hold your horses. So the thing is, there are 21 books in the series, and he um, picked up all the books that they had left. Okay. So we have right here on the table the first one through five in order. Mrs. Roopley is Loopy. Loopy. I was going to say Loopy. Mr. Klutz is Nuts. So, Miss, Miss Hannah is Bananas. Miss Small is Off the Wall. Miss Suki is Kooky. And I think that, yes, this was book five. This is 17. Mrs. Yonkers is Bonkers. This is book 18. This is book 20. Mr. Louie is Screwy. And this is the last one. Mr. Mrs. Krupp cracks me up. So. Up and up. Up and up. That's right. So what happened was I ended up uh, going online and finding a seller, um, a bookstore that had all of them. Not particularly a lot because the lots I were finding had pretty much all the same ones we had and to keep from getting ditto orders. Yeah. So, but I found a store that had all of them except for number 14, but I found it and they are running three, I want to say 379 a piece. So, and then it's a buy two, get one free. So that's even sweeter. I had seen the entire series running anywhere from 67 up to like $83, all 21 books. So, cool deal. But um, they, uh, they like them. So I went ahead. Usually I try when it's a series. Um, for my older kids, I used to go through and just get the whole entire series right off. But for these kids, I kind of let them pick and choose. Um, you know, if they do like them, then I'll go ahead and get them. I'll get, you know, the entire series. So, and these are gentle, uh, gentle enough breed. Um, because I like to screen my books before I give them to the kids. So, there is that. And, um, I posted on Instagram and somebody said that their children or child also loved, um, this series. So, yeah. Alright, next up we have Night Night Texas. A sleepy bedtime rhyme which we have read several times already and um, they actually make this book for every state so this picture is very vivid so you have the Alamo the Capitol the Space Center in Houston very nice I just, I love this page, or these pages. It's so calming, especially, you know, as a bedtime story. It's very calming. So, all you Texans will be familiar with what's in here. Not a whole lot of wording, but again, it does rhyme. Texas State Fair. The museum. Skip a page. Oh, here it is. I like this one too. Good night, ducklings. Zilka Park. And the kids love to play in Zilka Park. If you're not familiar, it is in Austin. And uh, we've just kind of grown up in Zilka Park. There's a train ride there. It's next to uh, Hamilton Pool. The natural pool. And it's so pretty out there. And then the botanical gardens are next to it. Deal. Right there is that. Just hit the back of it. Very nice. All right, let me get back up and get moving. All right, so next up we have say my name. Okay, now have, we have not opened it yet. I wanted to um, do this before we were talking discussing this 
on the phone. There were a lot of games and a lot of kits, like some crochet stuff, some, um, oh my gosh, there was all sorts of stuff in, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but we ended up, uh, he picked out this one in ages two to four, no, ages four plus two to four players if you are familiar with the game headbands this is similar to headbands okay so you get this card and stick it on your on your head and um, you put the name frame with the mystery card put on your name frame with the mystery card and you take turns asking questions so obviously the person that is wearing the headband does not know what picture they have but everybody else speaks around it so that they can guess without saying what the actual picture is and so the first person that um, you know discovers you know their their uh, card obviously is the winner so that's kind of what this is it's really fun speaking listening and memory game so all good skills for little ones to possess junior learning dot um, lots of vocabulary in here and I know the three-year-old write-off is going to love this because she just loves the logic behind um, the words yeah <laughs> so next up we have kindergarten this is for three-year-old and I don't know if I cleaned it all but of course they've already been in it wipe clean books and, did. and they come with the little pen some stuff on it, but basically that's what it is. Alphabet. Yeah, let's see, still a little writing there, and the different colors, and then they work with the pictures and the words, and then matching. Let's see if I, make. I just love these little books. I had never. Um, I've been wanting them. Then we go into numbers. So it's a very good thing for them to do when I am working with somebody else. They can sit down and do this. This could be morning. This could be uh, when I'm prepping dinner. You know, anything like that just to keep their attention. And this keeps them away from the TV. Okay, so that was the thing. We were looking for some things to just keep them away from the TV this summer. Um, and things like that. So a little reward chart and then they get to draw the other half of the pictures which we do uh, I have things like this in their work boxes so they love this type of thing there's some telling time in here again this is for kindergarten but she is kindergarten level this is um, counting by twos four sevens nines so, all right we'll get to the next one the next one is for my five-year-old grade one this one kind of has the same let me go back kind of have the same thing but it's different here they are finding words that start with the letter b a little more writing alley ate eight apples Here, they are working with the uh, the blends. So for the word the I G H A I, just skills that they would normally practice. These are things that they already do in their curriculum that they have. But um, the handwriting is a little more, you know, fun and engaging. Crossword puzzle, silent E, and here's the map. Know. write the missing numbers so I like that it has the visual and then they do mentally which we are working on and that would be my part of my dinner I need to go grab that All right, so frog jumps to eight he makes four jumps of two so counting by two and then they get number word problems Tracking, 
construction. Kelly back. I like that it has the little number line there. And dominoes. Pretty butterflies. Number stories. 1 to 20. Estimating. Tallying. Ordering numbers. Again, this, these are skills that they need, basic skills. A little bit more than basic skills that they need, that they um, do in their curriculum, their math curriculums, and some things in their daily learning notebook. We're sort of telling time, matching, and then we chart. So, trying to think. I think the other company that has a good one like this is Pretty. It's P R I D D Y, but um, Scholastic. Yeah. And I've seen those on several halls. So here's here's pretty. This one is just different, but they make one like this with um, pretty much everything in it. This one is just cursive. So I do like it. And there's a little pen. Teach you how to hold a pen, left hand, right hand. This is really good for because my first grader is left-handed so still we're working on writing and this is for the six-year-old twins that are pretty much second grade level movement practice letter placement half rainbow letters and right now I am not stressing cursive we just, um, he went ahead and picked them up so that we could have this. This is a good way to introduce in a dry erase form rather than on paper. Cursive handwriting actually takes more effort than print. I hear a lot of people say they want to start them on a cursive because the printing is not so well. Well, it takes more effort and it is harder to write in cursive. Um, and I know they've taken cursive out of the schools, um, but it is actually harder because you have to keep the pencil on the paper and kids are more apt to lift up. So it's, <laughs> yeah, it's easier to teach them to print. And then they have some more practice. And writing in general is just a uh, developmental milestone. Those kids, very early kindergarten, and I would definitely not have a kindergartner trying to write in cursive. First grade, a lot of them are just not even developmentally ready. So they are working on the Danilian style writing that's what they've been on it's fancy enough for them that's what they call it the fancy writing but not quite cursive yet so we'll get there and these are the ones that i have seen in lots of halls and like i said i had not picked these up but there you go and then um so the two of them have cursive handwriting and here is the little they have recently changed the name to Collective Goods, but it was Books Are Fun. So if you're looking for the haul, it may be under Books Books Are Fun, the one I did in um, April and the one in December. But you can find them online. There's the website. And, um, I have my receipt here, or the receipt. They left in the bag, so nice deal. Nice, uh, nice deal. And you can see the discounted um, pricing on them. So, pretty much everything is half price through them. 
which is so fun. I'm trying to think. There's just so much. It's been, I want to say four, maybe three years now that I've been sharing these, these hauls from, uh, from them. Anywho, let me get back in here at my dinner. Hope you all enjoyed. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. There are lots of new things coming. Um, if you all are not watching, um, if you have not viewed a joined in a live chat, I encourage you to join the live chat. I will see you all in the comments. Let me know some of your children's uh, summer reading books, series or not. Your favorite, your picks this year. Peace. Forgot to include my goodie. This flashlight screwdriver. Nightlight, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Let's see the nightlight. And all the little gadgets which definitely comes in handy there that is right there it's an 8 in 1 somewhere there it is so yeah and it was $14.99 um originally $5.99 anywho yeah that's it those are my little goodies here it is right here